I'm going to use divining to move my awareness beyond the particle and waveform of the physical world um, and um, I'm going to almost sort of go into that realm of imagination when you go there you've got to be very careful of self-delusion which is always lurking close, close by whenever you go into imagination but um, it's like some well-known philosopher once said um, humanity's um, capacity for self-delusion is infinite but um, isn't it strange that um, uh, for eons our ancestors have been using their imagination plus an array of self-deluding tools including religion and extrasensory perception to explore the nature of things beyond the oscillating particle and wave and I really can't believe that um, that sort of thing can be dismissed as some silly self-perpetuating habit of humanity now if you haven't experienced the anger rolls before this might look a bit weird but um, made out of bicycle spokes, bicycle spoke two anger rods I made earlier and I hold one loosely in each hand so they can move freely and I use the movement of the angle rod as an indicator of my mind process, my imagination process. And um, that mind process works beyond the physical. I use the angle rods to translate the perceiving into the physical. These are physical things, they can't do it on their own, they need my mind to influence them. So um, in a sense they're my interpreters. Now here's a simple exercise, and I think most people can do this, um, should be able to. Uh, what I've done is I've um, quietened myself and um, attuned myself to what I mean by the supreme it. And now I'll ask myself, where is it? So, where is it? Where is it? It. 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 It, 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 it's everywhere and um, unlike the thought processes of my brain it can't simply be waved away and forgotten. I might say it is here to stay. Um, you should try it out and experience it for yourself and I think it could change your life. But the, um, the question is, um, and it's for everyone watching this video, what is this it? And as I said earlier, um, using the term God to explain anything we can't explain is really confusing. And even my, word, my use of the word it might also be confusing, even though I know beyond any doubt that it is real and um, I'm keen to know if the it I'm attuning to is the infinite presence um, in which our universe uh, first formed itself or was created and in which the universe continues to expand um, but um, is it the absent stuff which is between the atomic particles and the waves which was is now and evermore shall be or is it simply um, one dimension within a myriad of other ones well beyond our imagination um, I think it's unwise um, for me to make assumptions ahead of any of further exploration um, Otherwise I'm liking the role of being a newly hatched chick or duckling that uh, opens its egg beside a watering can and says hello mummy and I think I must treat this it with respect uh, it deserves while resisting any assumption making I haven't a clue what it is um, I'm tuning into but it does feel very familiar um, it's not like any new discovery and I think our understanding of it will be strengthened if we can practice using these natural aspects of our extremely well-constructed mind, especially those 
of you who feel, or those of us, who feel drawn to do so. And um, obviously I would encourage um, scientists and physicists to look beyond the physical limitations of their gauges and meters and sensors and lenses and the like. Um, but I think it might require a different type of mind to consciously step into this realm. And I don't see this is as, as a quest to discover something unknown. I see it more like a process of recovering something we already know. But through eons of conditioning, are perhaps forgotten. I think we all possess natural ability to um, be where the underlying intention for all things resides, um, which um, inspires physical manifestation on this physical plane. Um, it's like the intention behind colour, shape and action. I am naming this aspect as divine intention. We can't see it though because it doesn't oscillate. Um, for a number of years uh, I've been painting for my living um, and you might already see where this is leading to. As an artist I'm very used to thinking up ideas for others and then committing these ideas to canvas so they might be seen with the physical eye. Uh, the process goes something like this. Inspire idea, think about it, reach for the canvas and the brush and the paint, produce the painting of this idea. And the physical part of this process is in the thinking, the reaching and the producing. If you could have read my mind and experienced the idea on that level, then perhaps it would have saved me a lot of effort in dragging it out into the open air and have it made to oscillate for, your, for you uh, through the use of physically constructed shape and oscillating colour. Um, I'll show you what I mean.